and bringing the sparkle to Covent Garden as the Christmas tree lights are switched on for the festive season. Meanwhile, across the capital, it's slowly starting to sparkle with festive lights appearing on our high streets and shopping centres. And when it comes to London's famous Christmas trees, yes, Trafalgar Square is one every year coming from Norway. Another is the tree that majestically stands in Covent Garden and comes from a little closer to home. So let's join our reporter, Michael McKenzie, who can tell us more. Sparkling away there too, Michael. Yes, thank you, Riz. Yes, I am here in Covent Garden and the Christmas tree lights have literally been switched on just moments ago. The switch on was done by the actor Luke Evans. Now, the tree is... The tree itself boasts of 30,000 LED Christmas lights and 200 gold Christmas baubles. The tree itself stands at 55 foot, 55 foot tree. Well, earlier on, earlier on, we got to take a journey with the tree. This year's Covent Garden Christmas tree has been handpicked from a tree farm in the Midlands. The selected 40-year-old Norwegian spruce will take centre stage in London's famous Covent Garden. For the past 15 years, the Covent Garden Christmas tree has been coming from Solihull. The team select the Christmas tree from its 200-acre festive forest. The 55-foot tree then makes its journey to London. It takes a team of 60 skilled workers plus a cherry picker once in the capital. I mean, it's not that easy, right, to get a 55-foot tree here in Covent Garden? No, well, first of all, we have to navigate central London with a huge uh, flatbed truck, so that's challenge number one. And then when we come into the piazza, we have to manoeuvre a huge crane, which is 20 metres high, and the crane picks up the tree, rises it up, 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 higher than the church, and then it drops it in the pot. So there's 30,000 LED P lights and there's over 200 gold baubles. And what are you hoping people take away from coming to see the tree here at Covent Garden? Um, I think they just, hopefully they just walk away feeling magical about what, what we've created here. You know, it's a really special time in London. We spend a lot of time coming up with the design, so I, I just hope people will walk away happy. And it's Martin's job to add the finishing touches. Michael McKenzie, BBC London. Martin there, adding the finishing touches. Glad he's got a head for heights.